Hey everybody, welcome back to this week's video. We are gonna be talking today about white rice versus brown rice. Which one is healthier and why? This month, all of our videos are kind of along this theme of these simple swaps we can make with our everyday foods. So I'm excited to share this with you today because this really is a simple upgrade that you could make to improve your nutrition just by navigating white rice versus brown rice. So if this is your first time you've seen these videos, welcome. My name is Danielle. I am a national board certified health and wellness coach and I'm a plant-based nutrition educator. I do these videos every single week inside my YouTube channel and my private Facebook group under the same name as Healthy Living with Danielle Dinkelman. Come on over, we'd love to have you there. So this week, we're really talking about white rice, brown rice. What's the difference? Why does it matter? How do you choose? What's, what are the facts on this, okay? Um, if you're like me, I grew up having rice a lot, but it was always white rice, and it was always slathered in butter, now that I think of it. <laughs> um, so if, if rice is a normal food for you already, there is a simple tweak we can make to improve your nutrition by switching to brown rice. I'm gonna tell you a little bit why. So first of all, I wanna explain what the difference is between white rice and brown rice. And we're going to kind of dig into some vocabulary here. We're gonna really be defining what a whole food is and the benefits of it. We're gonna be talking about fiber, we're gonna be talking about protein and what those things do for us, okay? So you are probably gonna feel a slight difference when you switch to brown rice from white rice and we'll talk about that. Okay, so first off, what's the difference? Well, this was quite um, revelatory to me when I first learned this, probably about five years ago, the fact that white rice and brown rice are not two different species of plants. They're actually the exact same, but one has been more processed, okay? I actually have some brown rice right here. Um, so it's a little, it is browner, right? I'm gonna show you that if you can see it. Um, so this is a short grain brown rice and this is a long grain white rice, but Sorry, it's not the same length, but you get the idea. White rice actually comes from brown rice, but it's been stripped down, it's been processed. Okay, we've talked about processed foods a little bit if you've watched my oil video or my sugar video. Similar process here. So for these brown rice kernels, these start with three pieces intact. The outer side, um, after we remove the husk, right, that's not edible, the outside is called the bran, okay? There's a lot of fiber and minerals and B vitamins in that bran, okay? Now, that gets stripped away when we turn brown rice into white rice. The other thing that gets stripped away is what's called the germ, and that is where a lot of vitamins and minerals are, and there's also a lot of protein, okay? So the bran and the germ get stripped away, and then we're left with this white rice. The white rice is entirely made up of what's called the endosperm. That is the pure energy that this brown rice or white rice kernel would have been used to turn into and grow a new plant, right? Because that's what we're eating here. We're eating the seeds of this plant. Okay, so do you see where I'm going with this? <clears throat> if we're stripping away the parts that have the fiber and the protein and a lot of the minerals and vitamins, we're getting a food that has less nutrition, right? And in some of these numbers, you can look this up. Um, it's, it's almost negligible, the difference, but I think that if rice is something that you're consuming a lot of, I think this really can make a difference for you, and I do recommend to go ahead and make the switch to brown rice. Now, when I did this, we noticed that we started to feel fuller longer, and that really comes from the fiber. Okay, so if you, if you look this up and look at the, the nutrition facts difference between brown rice and white rice, there's actually five times more fiber per gram in brown rice than there is white rice. And fiber keeps us fuller longer, okay? It takes our body longer to digest, so it gives us that satiating, sustaining feeling after we eat it. So we did notice that. Um, we went from you know having a, a stir fry with right, white rice and having two or three helpings of it to maybe needing one or two, um, just because we did feel that that brown rice was so much more sustaining, okay? So something to consider. Another thing to consider, um, as parents we get a lot of mm, marketing, really, is what it is, around protein, okay? And we start to stress about protein. Really, when we are eating whole foods, so when we're choosing things like brown rice, or we're choosing things like whole wheat, um, we're choosing things like, 
you know, the whole fruit, the whole vegetable, these whole grains, these, these legumes, we are getting food that is in its original form and package, and all whole plant foods contain um, the three macronutrients, protein, carbohydrate, and fat, all three of them, okay, just in different concentrations. And then we also, it, it also includes, um, oh, my brain, <laughs> it also includes fiber and water. There we go. <laughs> um, so when we're consuming whole plant foods, we're getting all of that material. Okay, and when we are doing that, when we're eating a variety of whole foods from all the four or five plant food groups, you are going to get enough protein. Okay, now protein difference between brown rice and white rice is only about 25% difference, um, but I don't think that's negligible. So you can actually, I think as parents, it can sometimes help us feel better about switching our family, getting them off of dairy, getting them off of eggs, off of meat, these things that we think they need because of this high protein content. But when you realize that brown rice has quite a bit of protein in it, um, we can kind of stop stressing about it, right? So I wanna just invite you to do that. Just stop worrying about protein and make the switch to more whole grains and whole plant foods, and then you really don't need to worry about it, okay? So um, the thing about brown rice versus white rice is, yes, it's a small difference, but if you're eating a lot of it, it can make a big difference in the long run, okay? There are a few concerns around rice these days. If you've heard of phytic acid, um, yes, that's naturally present in brown rice and more so than in white rice. And yes, it can, it has been shown to decrease the amount of minerals that our body can actually absorb. So if, if you are concerned about that and you wanna make sure you get the most nutrition out of this food as possible, you can soak this grain before you cook it or even sprout it before you cook it. So you can look into that some more if you're interested in really maximizing the nutrition. Another concern that's come out in recent years has been um, traces of arsenic actually, actually in crops of rice. And this goes for brown rice, white rice, um, even organic rice can, can have that arsenic. So um, it is traces, um, it's more concerning in high concentrations and for the you know women that are pregnant or for infants has been the recommendation from the USDA to watch out for. Um, so really I think, you know honestly I'm gonna tell you we, we still eat a lot of rice um, and I just try to make sure that this is something that we are not eating every single meal every single day but that we are including and adding in some other grains um, amaranth millet quinoa oats barley that sort of thing um, there are other grains you can turn to and use in the exact same way that you use rice so do your research on those things if those things are concerning to you um, but really the the main principle here is that we do want to move to more whole foods in the plant kingdom and we are going to see improvements in our health with that when we do so so have an awesome rest of your day. Um, let me know if you have any questions on this, um, but I encourage you to continue to do some research and come on over to our YouTube channel or our Facebook group. Again, it's called Healthy Living with Danielle Dinkelman. We'd love to see you there.